Who are you with? Um, Emma Rosa. My name is Johnny Craig. I'm a singer. Um, we just put out a CD, like, July, last July. It's called uh, Relativity. Um, yeah, it's been out for a while, so if you don't have it, go pick it up. What kind of stuff have you done recently that's gotten you into a hot water? Um, the last thing we just we just cleared, which is good. I think hopefully it'll be the last thing. Uh, went to Florida and got a little drunk, and we were, uh, we were it was a tour with Sky Eats, and uh, we were just hanging out at a bar, and um, we left the bar, and there's a, there's a huge riot broke out on the street. We we're in Tampa, and a huge gang fight broke out. I just kind of stepped off the curb and got shot like 15 times with a, a beanbag gun. And that shit has like lots of chemicals in it, so I just ripped off my shirt and stuff, couldn't see anything, kicked over a garbage can, and like some cops ran at me, and I just flipped one, and the other ones just went at me and got arrested. Paid a fine, and uh, that's about it. It's the latest. latest. Beanbag gun. Yeah, it's so intense. I leave like little marks like this big on your body. I had like 15 of them all over my body. Jesus. Yeah. Pretty interesting. American, so American cops aren't, aren't no joke. Oh, so it was the cops. <clears throat> oh yeah, it was the cops that shot. Because they were trying to do crowd control for the fight that was like that they already couldn't control, and so they, they were trying to keep the crowd back. So once actually, I got in trouble for doing nothing. Usually I do a bunch of stupid shit and I get in trouble, but yeah. Things you've done, you did you feel a little more ashamed of? All just alcohol fueled. So you know we make sure we don't drink before we play. Just kind of keep it relaxed. That's about it. Try to tone it down a little bit since the beginning of the start when I joined the band a year ago. So. Have you uh, have you any other kind of opinions towards towards law enforcement? I beside. I mean, like they're just doing their job, I guess. You know, they see a fight break out, they want to control it. They thought maybe I might be going, trying to go into the crowd and just trying to fight somebody. So. Not a problem. Kind of sucked to get shot 15 times, you know, a little excessive, but it's all good. What lessons have you learned from, I guess, this altercation? Oh, a lot. It fucking costs a lot of money to go to court because I gotta send, I gotta send people to go to court, lawyers for me, so because we're on the road all the time, so it costs lots of money, lots of court fees. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> fucking break in my bank. Uh, do you get like, I don't know, more messages than the other guys? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, like, sometimes I guess. I don't know. I don't want to sound retarded, but fans are kind of dumb sometimes. <laughs> I'll be standing with the R guitar player, and they'll just walk with me and ask for an autograph, and then just like walk away. It kind of sucks. But what's the toughest thing that you went through growing up? Um, just really staying out of trouble. <laughs> I, was, I always had a problem with that, I guess. I never really stay in school and stuff, just stuff like that. And then once I found music, I just moved to the States and uh, started a band and just been going at it ever since. What do you think it is about high school that's just so difficult for, for kids to uh, cope with? Um, it's just kind of like reputation, you know? Once you kind of have a bad reputation for high school and stuff, then you know, a lot of people really don't give you a second chance to do a lot of things. They always keep their eye on you after a certain point. And, you know, it just reflects on a lot of people like family members and stuff that also come into high school. It just kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? Like, I would definitely say stay in school, obviously, but, you know, you can't control anyone's life ever. You know, I'm not going to tell someone what to do if they feel that school isn't important. What are you going to do if you feel like music's more important or you feel like pursuing something else is more important than, you know, follow your heart? Yeah. Parents are not very supportive these days. They're less supportive. Yeah. I mean, th there's less present overall. I think they want, like, the best, you know, from the child a lot, of, especially because most parents now are younger parents. You know, they want what's best, but they also want to keep, like, a relaxed feel to it, I guess. That, and they probably just really don't know what they're doing. Yeah. It kind of all just goes together, you know? I don't know, man. I would say, you know, just watch your kids. You want your kids to do certain things, yet, you know, you're never there. You want your kids to be a part of certain things, but you don't push them. So if you want something, I think that you should be there, hands-on with your kids. That would probably be the best thing. Do you feel that your religion plays 
could have a positive influence on on someone's life. What's your experience with that? But again, like it all just kind of goes to what someone wants to believe in, you know. Like personally, I I am atheist, not because like I grew up Christian, but just because you know I never really found something in the church to keep me, you know, connected. So I just kind of branched out and did my own thing. And like, if, you know, I say if you believe in God and you believe there is a God, then you know. I'd, I'm all for it, you know, if you want to believe in religion, I think it's a good thing. It's a positive thing for people to do, but if you don't, then you shouldn't be, you know, prosecuted for it. You shouldn't be hated because you don't believe in God. I think it kind of goes both ways. What's, I guess, the strangest porn you've seen? Um, actually, we were on tour with, uh, Breathe Carolina and, uh, Skites Airplane and stuff, and we were all just sitting around looking at some porn just for the hell of it, and we found all these weird porns, like, this girl was like, getting milk poured down a vagina or something and the guy was like drinking it. It was weird. We'll just stop there, but it was pretty it was pretty gross. <laughs> you know, I I guess I go both ways, man. Uh, I like looking at porn, you know, when I'm alone, but obviously when I'm with my girlfriend, you know, I wanna fuck and have sex, so it just kinda goes both ways. You know, if my girlfriend's not around, obviously it doesn't matter, I'm gonna look at some porn. But... So this last question I have for you is, you know, what can people or uh, other bands learn from Amorosa in terms of um, you know values they can be about your positivity about your sexual your pro your pro sex nature uh, you know what think, people learn from your band I think we just want everyone to know I think you know we just want everyone to know that we have we want to be positive we just want to have fun we're here doing what we love and that's what really matters to us just respect music you know no matter what it is just have a good time with it and just be safe. Like no one, no one's asking you to listen to it if you don't like it. But you know, there's no reason to talk shit about music because music is here for all kinds of people. So that's what we want people to know: is that we do what we love and that's what we care about. If you don't like it, then fuck off. Awesome.